Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. If you're planning to start your career in networking or uh, IT infrastructure, you have probably heard of uh, CCNA. In this video, we will cover everything you need to know about uh, CCNA certification, the syllabus, fees, the preparation, duration, job opportunities, etc. Let's get into it. What is CCNA? CCNA stands for Cisco Certified Network Associate. It's in sort of, uh, I'll say, the entry level certification which is offered by a company named Cisco and it is globally uh, recognized. It's in global certification. This certification is perfect for beginners who want to break into this. Uh, huge field of networking it's give you the i'll say the fundamental foundational knowledge which is required to manage and troubleshoot network infrastructure so basically ccna is something which is a very foundational sort of exam or course I see which is required by every network engineer who should take CCNA now this is a very important question that whether should I go for CCNA or not so the IT students and freshers who are looking to start their career in networking they should go for CCNA professionals who are working in other domains and they wanted to switch their careers into the domain of networking, they can go for CCNA. Help decks or technical support engineers looking to upskill, they can go for CCNA. And anyone who is interested in pursuing Cisco's networking career path can go for CCNA. So these are the people who can go for CCNA. If if you fall in any of this category, then you should go for CCNA. Now, let's discuss about the syllabus of CCNA. The CCNA syllabus is comprehensive and job oriented. It includes this many sections. The very first section is network fundamentals. Now, this section basically focuses on understanding how the network operates this particular section network access this section includes the understanding of switches vlans access control etc the section of ip connectivity this is one of the most important section this includes understanding of ipv4 ipv6 routing it includes routing protocols like EIGRP, OSPF. This particular section of IP services would include DSCP topics like DSCP, uh, I'd say NAT, Network Address Translation, NTP, Network Time Protocol, and a lot of different stuff are included in this IP services. Security fundamentals. This, this includes fundamentals or I'll say the basics of security or we can say cyber security which is currently in demand and the last is automation this automation basically includes like we have a lot of this is this is like super trending i'll say currently now this include a little bit a basics i'll say of something known as network automation you will heard this word a lot nowadays, automation tools. So network automation tools will get a taste of this network automation tool when you will go through this section. So this is an overview of CCNA syllabus. What you, what is a syllabus basically, what you learn from this course. Exam details. Now, Cisco have a particular exam code for every exam so for this exam of ccna the code is 200 
hyphen three zero one, and this is the logo. I'll say for CCNA. This exam is of duration one twenty minutes, which consists of MCQ. MCQ is nothing but uh, multiple choice questions, and it is along with uh, simulations. So the passing score. When you talk about the passing score, uh, you do not get an exact passing score from Cisco, but it's believed to be around approximately eight twenty five out of uh, one thousand. Okay, and once you uh, are certified, this particular certification is valid for uh, next three years. So this is this is how it is. These are very important details. Whoever wanted to approach for the exam of CCNA. exam fees and preparation time the fees of ccna exam of the certification is around uh, 300 uh, us dollars plus some taxes so in india if you consider into rupee it will be uh, approximately around uh, 30000 rupees not exactly 30000 but maybe some some are about less than 30000 but approximately 30000 rupees and uh, if you talk about the preparation time but how much time i'll require to prepare for this exam if you do self study and uh, it you will you will need around 2 to 3 months of uh, consistent efforts and uh, if you are going through an instructed led course it typically last for about uh, 6 to 10 weeks if you if you if you join any course and uh, some popular tools uh, which you can uh, go for practicing this labs for ccna are like cisco packet tracer you'll find lot of different stuff on my youtube channel also related to cisco packet tracer gns3 boson evng i use uh, cisco packet tracer a lot i use uh, gns3 now but i have now started using more of evng so you'll see lot of labs in my on my youtube channel those labs are basically i use evng job roles after ccna once you are ccna certified uh, here are some of the jobs roles you can apply for so you can apply for network support engineer you can apply for knock engineer knock is nothing but uh, network operations center so you can apply for knock operation center technical support junior network admin or system admin so these are the different uh, roles uh, which gives you hands on exposure and pave the way you for more advanced certifications like uh, you know ccnp or uh, ccie but on the initial level after doing ccna you will get some some job role of uh, one of this job role and after doing the job role as i told you know it will give you more exposure to to move on with this certifications uh, which are uh, which are of higher level certifications so cnp cci salary scope salary scope like freshers in india basically get about uh, salary who have completed ccna uh they get about salary of uh, 3 to 6 lakhs per annum and uh, whoever have some experience of about 2 to 3 years they get about salary about 6.5 lakhs per annum to 10 lakhs per annum now of course this will vary and depend that about the uh, it will vary company to company um there are, i've seen some uh, some job roles in networking where in fresher gets more than 6 lakhs as well but this is kind of an average kind of thing which i have tried to mention over here and of course whoever have higher potential with some experience or uh, some certifications like ccnp or cci of course they will be paid more is ccna worth in 2025 2026 absolutely if you are looking to build a solid foundation in networking it adds a great value to your resume especially if you are aiming for the roles of uh, network support or it infrastructure it it opens up a lot of opportunities in uh, in i'll say ccnp 
cloud computing and uh, of course security network automation etc now this ccna is like certification which still highly it is relevant uh, it is relevant in the it industry and it have a lot of value in it industry final tips and resources if you if if you are ask for me for the tips of course uh, it is not about only theory but uh, it should be the study theory plus practice hands on lab so you should practice this labs this labs of course as i told you, you can use cisco packet tracer for once you start that's very 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 good tool uh, to use uh, for hands on uh, labs and uh, you can go for uh, there are a lot of different uh, online platforms currently uh, providing this courses of ccna um, there are a lot of uh, platforms like udemy they provide a lot of uh, good stuff there are a lot of uh, but 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 that is paid uh, you can go for uh, of course youtube as uh, a lot of uh, stuff present on youtube also and that to free stuff on youtube and and i'll say a uh, lot of stuff is very good stuff Uh, I learned a lot of things from uh, from from YouTube. Uh, of course, there's Cisco Academy. You can go and check on Cisco Academy as well. Uh, while studying CCNA, guys, I'll uh, I'll suggest that you focus more on troubleshooting scenarios because troubleshooting scenarios uh, actually gives you a very good practical uh, approach. It builds your approach when you are uh, studying. So. On, also on my channel, you'll find a lot of uh, a playlist dedicated for troubleshooting, because I personally feel that you know troubleshooting scenarios help a network engineer to grow in knowledge. And of course, if you wanted to wanted a tip or wanted to stay updated, uh, of course you have to follow the industry updates. You have to uh, stay updated with what exactly the, there's a current a trend in networking. What what are the new tools? to be used so this is this is very important and guys uh, i'll uh, end up this video with this particular slide uh, anyone who wants or who have any queries or who wants notes or they wanted their cv to get reviewed or uh, they wanted mock interviews they can contact me on this particular whatsapp number which is uh, 8828002605 you can whatsapp me and i do respond to this number Uh, of course if you want any notes uh, as i always tell in my different videos you can get it just mail me on network engineer stuff at the gmail.com you will get the notes as well uh, you can check my blog whatever videos i make on youtube i try to post uh, that particular notes on this particular blog that is www.networkengineerstuff.blogspot.com you can follow me on instagram uh, my instagram id is network engineer stuff of course you can you have to subscribe guys now to hit that red button of subscribe you know this is this is my channel which you are currently watching network engineer stuff on youtube so guys this is what i wanted to tell in this particular video about ccn it's a very important certification as i told if you wanted to enter this field of networking and it infrastructure so guys i'll stop here in this video i'll catch up you in the next video Till then, bye. Thanks, and keep learning. Thank you.